Hey, привет, everyone. <laughs> привет, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's Ina, and today is our second lesson of uh, Russian classes. So, lesson will be урок. Урок два. Lesson two. So today we are going to learn знакомство means greetings and буквы А Д. Letters A D. Of course, we're going to review the whole alphabet too, but 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 that's uh, <laughs> not everything. So first of all, I would like to remind you that we are working in Pear Deck, so you can go to the website joinpd.com and type this code, or I will just send the link in the chat. So we could uh, use uh, that one. You just need to click on the link and uh, actually I'm going to do the same. So I just copy the link and paste it to my browser or you just click on it and you'll see a little, um, how to call it, <laughs> a little intro. How are you feeling today? It doesn't matter what you choose. I will pick maybe the middle one because I'm a little bit sleepy and uh, actually too thirsty. Why do we need it? Because uh, here you would be able to do all of the um, activities and I would also open up a teach teacher's board for myself so I could easily go from slide to slide and uh, could do things together. Okay. I hope you are ready and I hope that, actually I really hope that you watched my previous lesson and if you did not so you can watch it a bit later. So now let's focus on урок 2. So last lesson we spoke about the alphavit. Alphavit and of course it means the alphabet. Alphavit. So when you work in Pear Deck at the very bottom right corner, you can undo things if you drew something by accident. So here are all of the bukva, bukvy, that we have in Russian alphabet. For those who don't remember how many, you can count. <laughs> or I can just uh, tell you there are tritsit, tri. Actually, it should be different. It should be three set plus three three three. So as you can see there are three different groups of Russian bukva. We have red, blue and green. Of course, in uh, Russian alphabet, we don't really divide them by three colors. It's just what I did to make it easier for you. So let's look at the first group at all of the red bukva, all of the red <laughs> letters. So please listen, yeah, listen and repeat after me. Слушай, слушай, listen and repeat. Bav da riai. Повторяй, слушай и повторяй. А, 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 е, 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 ё, 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 и E E E E O O O O O U U U U U U This one is interesting. U U U U U. If you remember last uh, lesson, I told you that if this sound is a bit too difficult, you can try to. Um, make E sound and take something like a pen or a spoon, maybe chopstick, whatever you have, and try to make the sound E 
but push your tongue a little bit back. E, 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 e. Uh, if you will just keep pushing it backwards, it will not give you a super clear sound, uh, but it will show you where your tongue supposed to be. It should be not too far and it's not far <laughs> to the throat and should be not too close to uh, your teeth. So uh, should be somewhere around the middle of your mouth, but a uh, little bit back like uh, uh, and also if you make your face a kind of a, like like a fake smile like uh, so it will be this uh, letter uh. okay next one. You, 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 and the final is yeah, 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 like yeah, kia, like ninja say. So, all of these they are our vowels or in russian we can say they are okay oh i need to type okay let's change the language glasne glasne yeah glasne or you can just write vowels Many, many years ago, actually in Russian language, we had, like in ancient Russian language, let's say in ancient Rus, <coughs> Slavic languages, we had much more vowels. Now they are <laughs> only 10. That are remains. So anytime you see any of these letters, you know it is a vowel. So it means the other big part is the opposite of vowels. The opposite of vowels, they are okay. So, mm -hmm. so, glass, ne, yeah, so glass, ne, so glass, ne. They are consonants. Okay, consonants. I'll make this color blue. So if we will look just by the amount of glasne and saglasne, we can see that we have much more saglasne. That's why it might be a little bit too difficult for you to remember all of them and how they look like. So just remember that any, all of the glasne, all of the vowels, and you just know, okay, the rest will be a consonant. The rest will be saglasne except for two green letters. Of course, they're not green, but I just made them green. So these two, two little bodies, they look very similar, but actually they look also close to letter U, bukva U, but they have nothing in common because bukva U has the sound U, but these two, they have no sounds at all, no sounds. So they do not produce sounds. If you remember, this one is tvrdy znak. It just means a hard sign, a consonant before it should be pronounced hard. And uh, the other one, this one is the soft sign, mehki znak. So the consonant before it should be pronounced softly and gently. That is the only difference. So basically we have 33 letters. We can subtract these two and we have 31 letters that make some kind of sounds. And those 30, among those 31, we have 10 vowels and the rest 21 consonant. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try to remember if <laughs> to check if we remember how do we actually say consonants the first letter the first bukva is what sound does it make 
it's also a difficult one because it looks uh, different not like compared to English alphabet B B B B B B Bukva B Next one is it's Tricky's brother V V V V V V V V V Next Bukva G G G G G G All three are consonants all of these blue are consonants согласны Next one is D D D D D D Z Z Z Z Imagine like a at a B maybe make the sound Z Z Next one is Z Z Z Next one is a very tricky one because it has its full name is okay let's find Russian alphabet here E Kratkaya means short E short E but the, it makes the sound Y Y Y Y Y Y E краткая е е е и краткая Okay, let's go for the second line. <laughs> second row. к к к к к к к к к л л л л л л м м м M M M N N N N N N N N P P P P P P We got here. It's not like P. It is a uh, very explosive like P P P R R R R R Re. Or we can also say R R S S S S S S T T T T T T And now the final letters that all of them they look <laughs> different and maybe sounds a little bit strange F F F F F, -f, -f. F H H Ha H H Ha T T T T Ch 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 so the last two letters, the last two consonants, these two, they, okay, maybe we'll take yellow color, not to mix up. So these two, they sound pretty similar, but the first one is just a little bit softer and the second one supposed to be a little bit harder. So, or less soft. Let's do sha once more time. Sh, sh, sha, sh, sh, sha. And the second one is sh sh sha sh sh sha sha sh sha sha But you should not really worry much about these two uh, letters, the last ones, because they never stand together in the same sentence, or almost never. At least I can't think of any word <laughs> at the moment. So. And there are not so many words beginning with the letter sha, so 
anyway people will understand you so no worries so we have just reviewed all of the 33 буквы of our alphavit and i'm actually curious do you remember any words that begin with any of these letters <laughs> Okay, actually, let's uh, keep this because we have glasne, a glasne, and these two, they are, they make no sound, so we can't say if they're vowels or consonants. They are just uh, softness symbols. So right now, here is where pear deck comes handy. I would like you to nai d, nai d, nai d. It's the same as find. Glasnye, glasnye, find the vowels. So I want you to find them and circle everywhere. So even if you're going to watch this lesson a little bit, um, I mean, not live, but a couple of weeks later, you still can use the link in the chat and you can click and uh, you would be able to do exercises with us. But uh, I think the link would be available for a month. So of course the first one is easy. Ah 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 ah. This is our first uh, glasne. First vowel glasne. What about the second one? Is it a consonant or is it a vowel? How? What sound does it make? Who remembers? I will help you. It is. B B B B B B. So it is a consonant, so we don't need it. Next one. U U U U U U. Of course, it is a, a vowel. It is a vowel, so we circle it. We find it. Next one, r, 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 Is it a vowel? Is it a glass name? Нет. No, нет. U, u, u. It is because we have already circled it and we found it. So yeah, let's mark it. Next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it is. It is also a uh, vowel. So far we have four vowels. Next one. Push. My cat is also helping you. <laughs> p, p, p. B, B, B. Mm. He says no, нет. And he's right. Next one is O, O, O. O. Oh, of course it is O. O is, I think, in almost every language, at least in every language I know, O, O is a vowel. V, V, V. Nay. F, 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 or F. No, нет. S, S, S. S, S, S. Нет. U, U, U. Да. Yes, it is a glass name. It is a vowel. Да. What about this? No sound, it is мягкий знак, so it makes no sound, it only shows that something is soft. Я, 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 я. Is it a vowel? Это гласное? Да, да. Д, 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 Д. Нет. Ю, 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 ю. А это гласное? 
Is it a vowel? Da. Da da da. E e e. E e e. E. What about this letter? About this book, actually. <laughs> da. Это классное. Wow. Okay, next one. Е, е, е. Е. This one we have already circled in the first row. So definitely yes. We have three vowels in a row. Ё, и, е. Next one is ч, ч, че. Ч, ч, че. Нет, это не гласное. Да, это гласное. It is a vowel. Это гласное. What about this one? You're right, Пуша. This is твердый знак. Has no sound, so definitely not. Oh, Pusha wants to know the next one. Next one is ха. Ха. Ха is a consonant. We have already circled it before, so да, это гласное. It is a vowel. It's a consonant. E, e, e. E, e, e. It is a vowel. It's a glass name. Ooh, we have only five letters left. Z, 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 z. Consonant. E, e, e. E, e, e. <laughs> it actually goes just below another e. So they are, both of them, they are vowels. Glass name. L, l, l. L, l, l. No. Ye, ye, e, kratka. Ye, ye, e, kratka. No, it looks quite alike with e, but this little thinny on the top shows that uh, little smile that, aha, I'm tricking you. I am actually a consonant. And we have the last one. K, k, ka. This one is a consonant. So we found some glass name. Поздравляю! Congratulations! Let's uh, move on. So here on the left you can see all of the vowels, all of the glass name. Let's uh, repeat them one more time from left to right, first row to second. Ah. А, е, е, ё, ё, и, и, о, о, у, у, ы, ы. Yeah, yeah. So these uh, uh, glass nails, they would always be uh, uh, visible to you. And we're going to play a little game where we're supposed to hit the moles. Don't forget to write your name uh, here so you can write whatever you want. I, uh, my browser already remembers me, but I can click, let's say, not me, and I can type my name again. 
can write anything I want. I can write my name now in Russian. Ina. Ina. Okay. And when you're ready, click start. Start. And we will need to hit the moles that are vowels. So we need to only pick the vowels. Yeah! Woohoo! And we hit it. So we are going to have 50, uh, okay, 60 seconds and uh, different rounds. Ka, mekki znak, tvrdy znak, a, ja. So you need to hit only the vowels. So we're going to see how fast can you do, how fast can you uh, recognize the vowels. Again, all of them are on the left side, so you can look at them and you can <laughs> try to shoot them. Your B, 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 E, L, L, U, E, E, U, A, U. Oh, I missed too. There was O and Y. Yeah. So you see, even if you know, uh, you still can't hit all of them. It depends also on your reaction. So more you hit correctly, more points you'll get. E, I, U, U, Ya, Ya, U, I, I, U, O. <laughs> Wahoo! Three levels have finished. I think there should be maybe five levels. It's a really good practice to for recognition of letters. Bear. U A K I твёрдый знак L A A V money Я О Е Ё мягкий знак твёрдый знак Ё Я Ё У Уху Still have 17 seconds. 17 секунд. Second секунда. Э, и, я, у, у, а. Ю, е, я, э, ю, у, у. Твёрдый знак и, и. Окей, I miss so many. Sometimes they appear way too much. Oh, we have... Oh, I got bonus time. Wow, wow, wow. This is going to be a long, uh, longer game than I thought. U, O, I, твёрдый знак, твёрдый знак, L, E, J, money, L, U, U, A, U, J, I, твёрдый знак, U, A, I, U, U, E, A, U, time, yeah, O. Oh. <laughs> so many. Так много. Many. Много. Много. Still have 29 seconds. U, yeah. U, 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 O, Ya, U, U, E, Ye, E, U, U, Ya. Ooh, yeah, eh, ooh, e, so many ooh, так много ooh, много буквы ooh. Da 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 da. Yo, ooh, yo, ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, ooh, you, yeah, eh, yeah, oh, yo, oh, you, ooh. Oh, ya, i, u, ya, a, i, u. I need to be a little bit faster, but still have 10 seconds. O, a, u, a, ya, a, u, ya, ya, yo, 
э я о я ы а я я ё у э е Woohoo, we still have time. Seven seconds. You can join me uh, by clicking on the link. And you can also play. We're checking vowels, all of them on the left side. Ooh, eh, you, yeah. E, eh, yeah. You, ah, ah, uh, ooh, ooh, yeah. Uh, yo. You, yo, yeah, yeah, eh, money. Eh, oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, uh. wow, still nine, uh, nine seconds left. <laughs> Oops. Don't forget to write your name if you're also uh, playing this game. Okay, actually the time was up. We can check the show answers. And as you can see, all of the letters that I wrote on the left on the slide, they were the correct answers, exactly. Glasne, that is what we were looking at. And leaderboard, wahoo! Try to beat Ina. <laughs> Try to beat me. So this t today I actually pretty much enjoyed it. Okay. So I think maybe for some of you who still wants to play, I don't know. Is anyone playing? If yes, please write in the chat, please. Because if I move to the next slide, you would not be able to play, unless I. Do some magic here. So I'll wait five, four, three, два, один. Time's up. Okay, so we will move on. So now, finally, a part of знакомство, part of meeting and greeting. Слушай и повторяй. Слушай, listen, и повторяй, повторяй. Okay, the first thing that we need to know when we meet people, we say hi, привет, 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 привет. So let's uh, write it down as mm. hi, ha 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 hi. Привет, 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 привет. You can write it with capital letter, I guess. With большой буквы. It's fine. Hi. Привет. And what do we say usually after hi, after привет? We usually introduce ourselves and we say our name, right? So here is the same. We'll start with привет, привет. That is hi, okay. And after, I'm going to say, я, Ина, я, Ина. So this uh, letter, letter я, буква я, it is and the letter and a word that means I. So Russian language is quite easy in a way that. Uh, Oops. That we don't really have many auxiliary verbs like in English. I am, right? I am Ina, if we say. Of course, we can say my name is, but in Russian it will be a little bit longer, so we'll start with this one for now. So, yeah, Russian in the way is much easier because we have less auxiliary verbs. We do have some, but not as many, and we don't really have to use them. So, of course, I, uh, if I would have translated everything, I would have said Я есть Ина, but it sounds very strange. Maybe it's like in super old ancient Russian, maybe, but uh, nowadays we don't say it. Uh, and by nowadays, I mean at least a couple of hundred years. <laughs> so, we just say Я and your name. Я Ина. My Pao Pao, my cat can say Ya Pao Pao. My mini Dini here, <laughs> little cat from Vietnam, she can say Ya Mini. This uh, little snowman, Mr. Snowman, he can say 
Я снеговик. It's his name. He's a snowman. Снеговик. So this is quite easy. Easy peasy. So if we had anyone here, we could have written the name. But uh, because we don't have anyone, we are going to think of a um, maybe a name that everyone knows. What about Alex? Like Alexander, but short to short way Alex. And we can talk. We can say Privet. Hi. Yeah. And we say Alexander. Alex. Alex. So, if you will uh, use kind of um, more English way, let's say it's, if it's obviously like a foreigner, you can say, yeah, oops, should be the same sounds almost, right? So, first, uh, Alex, Alex, uh, uh, in our case, it will be ah, uh. okay, just need to change the language, finally, <laughs> I have three languages on this keyboard, sometimes it's difficult, next one, in English, we have L, L, L. In Russian, the same. L, L, L. Next one. Alex. Uh, uh, Alex. Yeah. And the final one is in English, letter X. But in Russian, we don't have letter X. But we have two letters, two bukvy, that can make this sound. It will be K and S. X. Alex. Alex, Alex, or if we go actually the pure Russian word for it, Russian name, we can say Sasha, Sasha, because Alexander is like a full name, right? But uh, the short, w the short uh, form in Russian is Sasha, Sasha. If we we'll just do transliteration, it will be Alex. But the Russian analog is Sasha. Okay, let's uh, move on. Now we're going to соедини звук с текстом. If you look just at the word текстом, text, text, it's the same as text. So match audio with text. Соедини means to match. Audio, звук, with, с, <laughs> с is much shorter than with, and text, текстом. If you will look at the word text, text and текстом, you can see that basically it's about the same, just in the Russian one uh, we have also the ending. So let's uh, write, ooh. Our name, my name, I'm Ya Ina. This is my name. Hoo -hoo. So we're going to listen to some sentences that we learned. Like, hi, I am, and the name. Okay, let me, uh, maybe I'll pause the music for a while. And we will listen one more time. So I want you to listen, послушай, and repeat, повтори, a couple of times. So all of these uh, sentences or all of these answers, they have the same beginning. Привет, я. Hi, I am. And later we have to figure out which name we are actually hearing and it of course we don't know all of these names maybe except for mine but we can hear the sounds just, just try to hear the first sound of the name and it will help you to match so we're going to practice a bit of our listening skills Привет. Я Sasha. 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 So try to think like even if you don't remember Russian alphabet, Russian alphabet, 
still try to make comparison with your language or like with English language or maybe German or French or, Ger or Swedish and Italian because many letters they sound pretty much the same yeah Sasha so I can hear that the name begins with the sound s and I try to see does the green one looks like s maybe not in the orange one I can see a letter C or in Russian S so that could give me that type of sound in the red one I see the same letter S in the blue I don't see in purple or pink I don't see and in the last one I don't see so it is the red one Привет, я Саша Привет, я Филипп. Привет, я Филипп. So we try to figure out as many sounds as we can, and we can also think on the uh, look at the length of the names. So it can also help us. So it is completely fine. Привет, я Филипп. Я Филипп. And actually, this name sounds. I would say 95% to the Philip, so it's just the question which of these letters make the sound F. And also Philip ends with P or letter P, sound P. And uh, here, if we we'll listen, Yeah, Philip. Philip. So also uh, there is sound P, but uh, not as uh, prominent, let's say not as noticeable so it is the blue one Philip Philip Привет, я Филипп Привет, я Ина Я, я, Ина and uh, we know that E, E, E is a vowel that we learned and we played with Kill the Moles today so if we look at these three, actually these four, only one is the vowel, so it is this one. Привет, я Ина. Привет, я Максим. Привет, я Максим. Привет, я Максим. Привет, я Максим. М, 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 Макс, Максим, М, М, Orange, я Максим. It's a male name. In Russian language, it's only a male name. That's why uh, when I watched um, some kind of a detective show with uh, Pamela Anderson in the 90s, I think it was, or early 2000s, uh, Pusha, she had like, <laughs> shut up, my cat. What's going on? Yeah, he's saying, meh, ma, 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 ma. Sound ma. Come, Pusha, come. Okay, so she had like a best friend, her name was Maxim, and uh, I was like, it is impossible, how could they call like a woman with a male name? Because in Russia, Maxim is completely male name, a name for males. Okay, let's listen to the next one. Привет, я Таня. Привет, я Таня. T, t, Tanya, and here pretty much the same. I mean, the first sound t, t, t. So obvious, pink or purple. And we have the last one. Привет, я Катя. К, к, Катя. Катя. It's a traditional Russian name for a girl, Katya. Katerina, Yekaterina. The full name is Yekaterina, Catherine, and uh, the short way, uh, the short name Katya, Katya. Okay, so it's a uh, extra practice for us. So pretty good. Ta da! Five minutes and fifty six seconds for Ina. Ooh, quite slow. So show me if uh, you can do it better than me so 
Uh, when you're going to watch the stream, you can still click on the link in the chat and uh, you can still uh, finish these uh, little games and try to beat my results. Hey, so now it's time for us to learn a little bit more in details our next letters. Uh, today we have two letters and we'll start with bukwa A. Why? Because it's easy, so I don't want to make you feel like overwhelmed. So, last lesson we learned, or oh, we found out that ah, the word I a e ra port, aeroport, aeroport begins with bukwa a, a a a, aeroport. So today we're going to learn a bit more letters, oh, sorry, words that begin with bukva A. A, 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 Na, Nas, Ananas, Ananas. So we're stressing the final syllable, the last syllable, Ananas, Ananas. Next one. Remember, listen and repeat. Слушай и повторяй. А, а, а. What is this? Who can guess? <laughs> Who can tell me? <laughs> Basically, uh, we know that the, here red letters, they are A. Uh, and today we learned uh, vowels. So we know that uh, this one is O. And M, T, T. So they are exactly the same as in English. The only difference will be this one. Who remembers this blue letter? How to, how to make the sound? What sound does it make? It is V, V, V. V, V, V. Makes sound the same as letter B. So if we're going to read it together, we will do af da mat after mat after mat and there are two pictures here. So it means okay, I want some music. Haha. <laughs> Let's go here. So it means that Different things, two different things could be called the same name after math. And how do we know which one is to use? It's only depends on the context. And don't worry, no one would ever make you put these two things together usually. So the first one is uh, why do I pick a kind of a rifle or a K45, any type of a gun? Of, like that because we are on Twitch and on Twitch we have many gamers and in the games we have weapons that is why we have aftermat aftermat so aftermat and another one the second picture is actually a vending machine or it could be uh how call it the gaming slot, uh, like when you go to the casino and there is also that's, uh, the thing where you're supposed to like put a coin and try to win. I forgot the name of those things. Or it could be coffee machine. So we can call it coffee machine. Or we can say automat s coffee. After, uh, like vending machine with coffee. So. Basically, many, many things uh, could be called aftermat or something automated. So it will also have the beginning of uh, aftermat. For example, um, automated machine will be aftermatическая machine. So it's basically almost the same word, just has some kind of ending that uh, makes uh, from a noun an adjective. That's why 
you're going to hear this word quite a lot uh, in Russia and uh, in the game also on Twitch. That's why we are having it here. Aftamat. Aftamat. A A A. Aftamat. Got notification from Russian Post. I don't know what they want from me. <laughs> okay. Next one is буква Д. Д Д Д. So why did I pick буква Д? Because it looks quite similar with буква А, but 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 slightly different. So if you want to write буква Д, first we need to draw a little mountain and the second step we are going to draw a bench that a mountain is uh, standing on or we can call it a tent so again we can draw we can put a tent and a tent is standing on a bench so it looks a little bit like буква А but also slightly different so that is why D, D, D. The first the very important word is дом, дом. And again, after I told you how to read this letter, you didn't even need my help because the second letter is O, the same as in English, German, French, or Swedish. And the last one is M, 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 OM, OM, DOM, D. Om, dom. Pretty easy and we have a picture. So it is a house. House. Dom is a house. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. D, D, dom. Oh, this one is funny. Today is actually we're going to have a little bit longer lesson. Seems like longer than one hour, but it's fine. So again, the same буква D, and maybe we'll skip a little bit with the first word, and we will start with the second word. So if we say, just read it, D something D, we know that something in the middle is буква Е, Е. So we can connect D, Е, Д, Д, Дед, Дед. Did, did, and if we look at the picture, we can see that it is an old man. And yes, it is exactly what we can say. Of course, we can say we can also call an old man. But uh, usually in Russian, when we just see uh, an old person, we can call them grandpa, or grandma, even if they are not. Uh, our relatives it's just kind of a status like okay you're old probably you have children so it's kind of a very good description because if I will say um, an older old man пожилой человек it will kind of help uh, the description but not really much uh, almost the same I would say but we can also say a pensioner пенсионер but uh, if I just want to specify that it's an old man, it's much easier for me to say did. Especially if he did something bad to me or he was rude to me. It's so much shorter and it's also kind of shows my... Like, I, I didn't really like that person. Or it's just like, I want to stop conversation when I talk to someone, like to my uh, grandfather and say, ah, did. Did it means like okay, grandpa, it's enough, stop it. So, anyway, did is grandfather or just an old man or retired man, uh, pensioner. So, the full uh, definition of this did is dear dushka, dedushka, dedushka. That is basically grandfather. Now, it again could be an old man somewhere uh, on the street, and if uh, the, if that old man was nice to you, you will say, 
or I was talking to a dedushka or oh dedushka is standing behind me like if you're in the queue somewhere but if he is not a nice person he did something bad to you you can call him did did dedushka 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 but did now next one is a tricky one now exactly the opposite of an old man <laughs> because first of all it's a young person and second of all it's different sex so it's a female a young female also begins with bukva de the the de and let's try to read it <laughs> de vu shka devushka devushka the the de vush okay so here let's make it again de vush ka devushka devushka just a young lady and again in russia uh, if you see a woman there are a couple of rules number one never ask her age because any woman or young lady will get a may get offended so especially elder woman okay not elder but anyone over 30 never ask their age never just remember about that so i may be the i don't care much about my age because i love myself i'm confident it's fine but don't ask uh, regular women outside about their age so we're going to look at these two words closely so if we will look, both begin with dear and dear, and both end with ushka and ushka. <laughs> the only difference is the third letter. We have dear, d, dear dushka, and here we have bukva v, 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 dievushka. And the stress is also the same syllable, the first. Dedushka, dievushka. So, what does it mean? We need to be careful <laughs> when we're calling someone. <laughs> and remember, any woman, if she's not babushka, like obviously babushka, you know, like when a person cannot walk. Uh, okay, babushka means a very old woman. So if it's like obviously not a grandma or not a person who could have at least a grandchild who could be like 20 years old at least you never say the word woman you say the word devushka so don't make women angry i would say if you meet a woman who is like 40 to 50 obviously she is not a young lady right we cannot call her devushka but if you call her a woman in Russian language, it could be a little bit like, okay, you're you're old, you're already old, so don't do that. Just call her devushka. It will make her feel good, especially if you're meeting your like mother-in-law. You can say "Привет, девушка." Of course, it will be more polite to say "Hello," but that word is "Здравствуйте," so we're going to skip it for now. So you can just say "Привет, девушка." Or if you meet uh, an old man and you just want to greet him, maybe he is your neighbor, maybe he's somewhere else, you can also say Привет, дедушка. But I'm pretty sure like uh, there are more chances for you guys to meet дедушка. <laughs> and especially like on Twitch, you can always even write on Twitch or you can say something Привет, дедушка. And uh, it will be quite nice for female streamer to hear that so we have learned some words let's uh, review them one more time what have we learned today a a a aeroport a a a ananas pineapple ananas a a a aftamat aftamat so it's a vending machine or any kind of automated machine. 
and it could be like a automated rifle like AK-45 Automat the the dom a house the the dedushka or the the diet grandpa or old man and a young lady the the devushka devushka so now we're going to check how well uh either explained it to you <laughs> so let's see Again, we are going to listen to the word and we are going to match it. Okay, I think I will reduce the sound again. So when you listen to it, so слушай and повторяй, повторяй, repeat. I really want you to repeat and not just in your head, because in the head all of us will sound perfect. Open your mouth and say the sounds openly and as loud as possible because it will help you to articulate it will help you to improve the speed of learning dedushka dedushka so we can hear the 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 and after we can see an old man maybe you remember that did is an old man but let's listen to it one more time they didn't say did they said much longer word, so it's all. It means a grandpa, but a grandfather, a long name, dedushka, dedushka. So if you remember, it should be the pink or purple. And when you play this game, you might have different colors and different order of words. So you need to listen carefully and uh, think by yourself. D D Dom 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 mm -hmm. This word is very easy because we learned letter D so we know how it looks Dom. and the rest of the word is Om Om D O M Dom So three letters quite easy to figure out green or like bright green Next one, ananas. ananas, ananas, again, even if we don't remember the writing or anything, but let's listen, ananas. ah, the first sound is ah, and it is the first letter of the alphabet, and it's pretty much the same in all of the Latin languages, so ah, we know how it looks like, so we look at the words with that begins with ah. It will be red, orange, and blue. Next one. Ananas. We can hear ananas. We can hear that there is at least a couple of more times the sound is the same. Ah, ah, ah. So we look at the red word and we kind of don't see letter R, so maybe it's not. This, the orange one, there is at least one letter R, bukva A, so could be. And the blue one, we have three bukva A, pusha. Stop it. So maybe it's the blue one. Ananas. 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 So now we can think about the final uh, sound that we can hear. Sss. The red one has t, t. Orange one has t. And the last one has s, -s. my cat. <laughs> my cat, my cat is screaming because he doesn't like ananas. Ananas, a pineapple. Aeroport. 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 So this one is pretty easy. We have only two words beginning with Bukva A. And actually, both words end with T exactly as Aeroport. And uh, we know that we can hear Aeroport. 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 So there should be sound P and sound R. All bukvas P, R, P, 
pr p r pr pr. So if you look at the orange one, I see ah something that I may, might forgot t o m a t. So no p no r. So not orange. So red airport. Девушка. Девушка. Okay, this is easy. Something beginning with letter D, буква D, and long. This is short, this is long. Девушка. Девушка. Дед. Дед. Again, only two words left, so not <laughs> very difficult. And the final one is... Автомат. Автомат. Aftermath. Okay, I'll get my music back. Dun, dun, dun. Aftermath, and the game is over. So I got five minutes, 16 seconds. So when you finish the game, you can click on show answers and you can look at all of the answers that you gave. In my case, they're correct. If you gave a wrong answer, uh, it will be kind of crossed and the correct answer will be on the right side showed so you can listen Dedushka and you can repeat Dom Ananas Aeroport Dievushka Diet Tada So if you want to play uh, again you can click back and you can uh, also look at the leaderboard so far it is only me again back you can show the answers review everything again go back and you can click start again and uh, you can try one more time or as many times as you need uh, so today is yes so we're, uh, fun and long le lesson so now Let's practice some phrases that uh, we actually learned today and uh, let's try to see what is needed from us. Переведи. Переведи means translate на into английский. Английский. English. Переведи на английский. Translate into English. So let's start with номер один. Number one. Номер один. First, let's try to read it. Because if we just look at the word, maybe it will, some people it will not make any sense, but if you hear the word, it should definitely help. So we can try to think of the letters that we know we definitely know the last one is t, t, t. today we also learned two consonants e e ye ye and it's something e yet e yet and we need to figure out the last uh, three letters the last three consonants so does anyone remember what is the first sound? The first letter is p p p r r r e i i i v v v ye 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 t t t. So we read it. Pri vet. Pri vet. Pri vet. So now it could be a little bit easier for us, maybe. Привет. Means. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. Hi. I'll keep it red so we could see it. Привет. What about номер два? Number two. Looks exactly the same, right? So we can. We can uh, just. Read it again. Привет. 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 Hi, hi. Pretty st uh, standard conversation, the beginning of conversation. Next one, номер три. Number three. 
Again, let's try to read and figure out. It looks strange. It doesn't look that we learned anything today, but let's try to read it. So we know that there are three consonants, sorry, three vowels, or, where is it? Or, e, or. We know that uh, this letter is th, th, and this one is also th, th. So if we read the last word, it will be e, th, o, eto, eto. If we look at the first word, it will be something th, o, to, to. I will help you with the first one. It is ch, ch, ch. So ch, th, o, ch, to, eto. Ch, to, eto. But when we read or when we say things really fast, we are going to. Maybe we are not going to pronounce every sound as it is, as it's supposed to be according to the alphabet. So we're going to say it much easier, so it will be easier for our mouth to produce the speech. So we'll say что, что это, что это, что это, что это. And maybe, uh, like we haven't actually learned this, but I said this phrase at the first lesson and also today I said it. So что means what, what is, because remember in Russian language we don't need to use auxiliary verbs like is, am, are, we don't have to. And это is this. So what is this? Что это? What is this? What's, what's this? Что это? And the answer we, are, we if we look at uh, what what are we going to look at if we look at this word and this word they are the same so we already know how to read it so it will be это and we know the meaning that it is this это so this is and now we have to figure out the final word what is this so we haven't learned this word, so it will be just for practice for us. I think we did it when we were just checking alphabet on the first lesson. So we can see there is a, a. So after letter R, there is a strange letter. Uh, it is a little bit strange, but if we remember that we learned the word ananas today, a a a ananas. So between these letters a, we had the same letters, this and this. And if we just listen, a na 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 na, it makes sound n n n. So it's already uh, something that we know. So it's n n. So if you read an an anan. Now we have to figure out the first letter. The first one is B, 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 B. So B, an, an, banan, 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 banan. So we can say this is a banana. So if we just look at the grammar part, in English, we can see first there are auxiliary verbs in Russian we don't have. In English, we have uh, articles like a or the. In Russian, we don't have. And the best part, you can put the words in almost any order in, Rus in Russian language in a sentence and it will not change the meaning, it will still be correct. So I can say это банан or I can say банан это. It will be still the correct sentence. So kind of grammar wise, Russian language is a little bit easier, <laughs> like the basic grammar. So 
can see you have to write a little bit less. So now we're going to practice saying these dialogues. Hi, hi, what's this? It's a banana or this is a banana or like this is something or it's something. Привет. Привет. Что это? Это банан. So let's have a look here. We are going to read, 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 read together. Привет. I'm going to make it thicker. Привет. Что это? Что это? Это. And what is it? Что это? Who remembers что это? Это. А, 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 аэропорт. А, 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 аэропорт. So if you have a, uh, what? Not a pen, you're also in pair deck with me, so you can try to write the word uh, if you don't have the keyboard with Russian letters you can just use the pencil tool to draw if not if you do have the keyboard Russian keyboard you can write with me a e you can write with small a e r o p o r t aeroport aeroport Что это? Это аэропорт. Аэропорт. Not that difficult. Maybe the writing is a little bit, but it's okay. You can always... Uh, it's only second lesson, so don't worry. Okay, again. Oopsie. We are not uh, writing, we are highlighting. Привет! Привет. Что это? Это... Кто помнит? Who remembers? Что это? What is in picture four? Что это? And... It begins with буква А. А... В, 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 в. Т, Т, Т. The o, 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 o. after after it means auto if you just say after like this it will be a car or something oh the beginning of other word after ma, ma, ma. A, a, a. The, the, the. after mat after mat after mat so it could be automated rifle or could be a vending machine Aftermat, something automated Aftermat. okay let's go to the next one привет привет что это что это это how do we say pineapple? Let's start with a a a a na nas ananas ananas. Что это? Это ананас. And we go for the next one. Mm hmm. Привет. Привет. Что это? Что это? It's a question. Это. It's a new word. Д, Д, Д. О, О, О. М, М, М. Дом. 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 Это дом. Что это? Это дом. Let's go to the next one. So try to read by yourself. Привет. 
Привет! Кто это? Кто это? Кто это? Это... Ху-ху-ху-ху-ху! Here it could be a little bit tricky, if you remember. D, D, D. Е, Е, Е. Д, Д, Д. Дед. Дед. Or we can continue, make the full word of it. Д, У, У, У. Ш, Ш, Ш. К, К, К. А, А, А. Дедушка. 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 Okay. Are you ready for the final game, for the final check of today? To see how well you remember the words. Let's go. So we're going uh, rearrange the letters to make a word. Состав слова. So слово is a word. Состав it actually basically means create a word or make a word and you see sometimes in Russian <laughs> it could be a little bit uh, less words when especially when we give commands we can just make it faster so we have letters yeah the the and all of them are in the wrong order so we arrange them and we got diet diet so we're going to do the same anagrams So we see the picture of the item. We can listen. Aftamat. Aftamat. And now we need to think which letter should be first. Aftamat. A, A, A. Aftamat. Some letters, they are just already at the correct places. Aftamat. I don't know what should be somewhere here, but I could hear obviously that the last sound is T. Ta da! Oh, M put all, uh, also placed it at the correct place. <laughs> Aftermath. Not sure about anything, but I definitely know that R should be between M and T. Aftermath. Aftermath. Not sure about here, but all oh, could be here. Well, well, well. Tamat. Actually, <laughs> tamat is uh, the same. Wow, here's another one. I didn't think there will be... Wait, here. So, tamat is a tomato or tomato. Of tamat. And... For such a coincidence, we have another aftermath. So, actually, I thought like it's always uh, generated in the random order, so I thought it will be maybe somewhere later to trick you. But for me, it is here, the second one. So again, aftermath. Da 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 da. It's even better. We can practice it even better. Diet, diet, diet. The the the. Yet, did, did, hooray! This one was easy. Привет! Hi! Привет! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hear the last one is T. And E just placed automatically. Привет, 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 привет. At the end, it sounds like yet, привет, привет. So, should be a vowel. We have two vowels, E and E. Glasne. So, we'll put it here. Привет. Привет. So, this one, even if you forgot how to pronounce it, if it B, if it's v, v, it's okay. You can look at other two. It should be either this, either that. So, we can try to put. If it's at the wrong place, it will show you. So, can switch them and here we go. Привет. So before just rearranging uh, letters randomly, try to use the logic. Try to use your knowledge. Try to try to think because it will really help you to learn the language. Trust me. 
дедушка. Дедушка. Definitely. Буква D is first. Дедушка. Ка, ка. So at the end I hear ка. So it could be let буква ка. Or it could be а and к together. So let's put them together. Yay! Дедушка. Дедушка. So remember, it's there is a picture, old man. So it's uh, basically like here. <laughs> the picture should start with ед and the дед, and the rest is ушка. Дедушка. Дедушка. Ананас. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezes start with A. Ana. The final should be S and Ananas. So these two should be switched. Ananas. Dom. Dom. D, D, D. And. Vowel should is usually in the middle. Dom and it's very easy. O and m. Dom. Девушка. Девушка. So again, we definitely know it begins with буква D because the, we learned this word today. Uh, we we remember that it ends the same way as grandpa. So it should be ka at the end. So remember the second letter also the same. And the last two letters is sha or v. Девушка. В, в, в. Девушка. Voilà. And the final word. Aeroport. А, 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 аэропорт. А, 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 аэропорт. So if we think about English, airport, port, o, r, t in Russian. Аэропорт, порт. Also по, ор, т, порт. So it should end with т for sure. And uh, Aeroport, ort, ort. So somewhere at the end should be or and the r. So if we look at this, we don't. We think like, okay, how does the r look like? But we have vowel, we have vowel, and two consonants. So we definitely know it should be a consonant somewhere there. So we just put it there, and now we know. That it is actually буква R that makes sound R. Airport, port, 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 port. Aero, 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 airport. So how do you feel about today's lesson? I think it was pretty uh, exciting and. We learned a lot of things and we went through a lot of uh, strategies on how to improve your um, learning of Russian language. So just to remind you that in the chat you can click on this link and uh, you can start it again. Even when you rewatch my stream later, like uh, one or two weeks later, you can still click on this link and you can uh, finish all of the exercises with me. I mean, you can do it by yourself and I will check your leaderboard and I will see <laughs> who's doing what. But uh, I will see only your name, so don't worry, there will be no emails, nothing, no Twitch information, so you, it will be kind of private, so you can write any name you like. So for today, our lesson is over! So thank you very much for staying with me today even if it was only a couple of people but still next Tuesday we're going to have next lesson and uh, we are going to learn more things so we will learn next letters next new words and of course we'll review everything that we learned today and um, we're going to play 
more exciting games so stay tuned and uh, see you next tuesday and another new word for today and actually for every day is how do we say bye we know how to say hi привет but when we say bye bye we say пока 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 пока